In the first years of the 20th century, all the racial theories developed in the Victorian age, eugenics, social Darwinism, and scientific racism, came together in a forgotten outpost of colonialism. This is Namibia, but at the dawn of the 20th century, it was the German colony of Southwest Africa and home to an ancient people called the Herero. In 1904, they rebelled against the brutality of German rule. What followed was to prefigure the worst crimes of the 20th century. The Germans committed innumerable massacres and atrocities, but they were unable to hunt down and destroy all the Herero people across such a vast landscape. And when the Nama, another of the Namibian peoples, rose up, the Germans turned instead to a recent invention, the concentration camp. In these camps, the Herero and Nama were imprisoned and enslaved. Thousands were worked to death, others raped, beaten, or simply murdered by the guards. The most infamous and deadly of the camps was at a place called Shark Island. Shark Island was established for the express purpose of killing people. Anybody placed on that island, everybody knew they were going to die. People knew that, the German officers knew that. If I were to have to use the language of the Nazi period, then I would certainly see Shark Island as a death camp. The people were trying to gather in Shark Island from all over Namibia. Hereros, Tamaras, Bushman, Nama. And they had cool-blooded murder there. My own family, my ancestors, they were also killed. In this desolate place, on the southern edge of Africa, three and a half thousand people were exterminated with a speed and efficiency that was to become the hallmark of 20th century slaughter. The genocides which took place in Namibia in 1904 to 1909, they are the precursor to what happens in the Nazi period. They are the precursor, they have the same symptoms in the sense that you can see the bureaucratization of mass killing and this for me is the central thing this is not just killing for killing no it's a combination between killing and bureaucracy today shark island is a campsite for tourists the africans who were frozen and starved to death here have been almost erased from memory But a century after the Namibian genocide, the true horror of what happened on Shark Island is beginning to re-emerge. In a recently discovered mass grave, just a few kilometers from the site of Shark Island, lie some of the victims of the 20th century's first genocide. Other victims were denied even the meagre dignity of a mass grave. They became the raw material of racial science. Their skulls and even severed heads were sold to museums in Europe and used to prove the inferiority of Africans. The trade in skulls was so accepted that it was even depicted on a postcard. <laughs> 